Hey y'all, it's Brittany. So in my last video, I explained to y'all how I was unexpectedly pregnant and I showed y'all my boyfriend's reaction and just talked about that. Well, that was when I was five weeks pregnant. I am now seven weeks pregnant. It's been two weeks since then. And I thought it would be fun to document my pregnancy journey, document like during the weeks, you know, symptoms I'm having, things like that. And so this is gonna be about week five and six of my pregnancy journey. So to backtrack, I was five weeks and one day when I found out I was pregnant. Uh, up until then, I was like a week and a half late, which is not really uncommon for me. So I wasn't really thinking about it beforehand. Um, the only like symptoms I had noticed before I found out I was pregnant was my boobs were sore and I was slightly cramping. Boobs being sore, that's not uncommon, you know, that's a very common symptom whenever you're about to start your period. And cramping, again, that can be a period symptom, but for me personally, I have really bad cramps. I've always had really bad cramps and whenever I feel myself cramping, I know I'm about to start. Like I'm going to start within 24 hours at the very most usually it's just when a, within a couple of hours of me cramping. I'd say like two or three days before I took the test to see if I was pregnant, I was doing like slight light cramping and I would cramp and be like, okay, I'm about to start my period. And then a couple hours go by that night. I hadn't started yet. And I was like, that's weird. We're going, you know, let's give it another day. So then I'd give it another day. Again, same thing, did not start. And I was like, okay, this is, this is very, very uncommon for me. So then finally, like a couple days after was when I decided to take the pregnancy test to confirm that I was pregnant. And that's really the only thing I noticed during week four was my boobs were sore and slightly swollen and I was slightly cramping. So week five, I was very hungry. Like as soon as I realized I was pregnant, I was like, oh my God, this explains so much. And then I had to pee a lot. Those were really the only things. Oh, and of course I was tired. I was very, very tired. But at the time I just started um, schoolwork cause I go to, uh, I do online college. And I was thinking, oh, well maybe it's just, you know, me being unmotivated to do my schoolwork while I'm, after I get home from work. And after I found out I was pregnant, I was like, this explains so much of why I've been like struggling so hard to do my schoolwork. It was because I'm tired because I'm freaking growing a human being. So that was really week five was just peeing a lot, hungry, and being so, so freaking tired. So <clears throat> last week was week six and I feel like my hunger grew even more. I was like, I couldn't, I would eat breakfast and literally an hour after breakfast, I'd be starving. I couldn't even make it to like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock for lunch. 10 o'clock, I was like, I'm starving to death. After I found out I was pregnant, I've been doing salads for lunch. I would mix it up, you know, some days I'd do ranch, some days I'd do Caesar, you know, just obviously all of them pasteurized and safe to eat. But I'd switch it up to make it, you know, not so boring. And I, to begin with, I'm not someone who can get full really on salads. Um, they're just not, I guess, heavy enough for me. So that doesn't help. So I've had to like start eating like apples with peanut butter for extra protein and like cheese cubes, you know, like things that are going to be kind of more filling. But I'm trying to eat healthy, obviously. I want to stick to fruits and vegetables, things like that. I don't want to just eat junk food. So week five or week, the beginning of week six, that's what I was doing. And again, same symptoms. Now I know that week six is when morning sickness generally starts. So I was very nervous to enter week six. I was like, okay, this is when it's gonna start. I just know it. So come Wednesday, I woke up Wednesday morning when I, so I was six weeks and three days around two o'clock in the morning. And I could not lay on my stomach. Like I felt so, so full. Like I just ate way too much. I kind of felt nauseous, but not really. It was more of a just a I'm so full type of feeling nauseous. So I finally go back to sleep. 
I wake up a few hours after that when my alarm went off around six. And I wake up and again, something just feels off. Uh, okay, so I gotta get up for work, obviously. I can't just lay in the bed just because I don't feel right. So I get up and I immediately have to go to the bathroom. Generally when I wake up, I have to immediately pee, especially now, but I had to do like number two, which I never have to do in the morning. So that was weird for me. Again, so I'm like, is this a pregnancy thing? So I immediately had to use the bathroom. And then after that, I wash my hands, obviously. And I brush my teeth, you know, get ready, get dressed. I go to the, my kitchen and get a cup of orange juice to drink with my prenatals so I can get, you know, some of my fruit in for the day. And literally not even two minutes after I drank my orange juice, I immediately threw up. And after I threw up, I felt way better. Um, when I first gotten out of bed, I kind of felt like a little lightheaded and dizzy. I had to like lay down for a second. But after I threw up, I felt better, went back, brushed my teeth, and then I headed to work. And all day, I just felt terrible. My stomach was hurting. It was very, very tender, like to the touch. It just like hurt to be touched. I was cold. My, I had taken my kids uh, on a buggy ride the day before. Uh, while I was at work when I, I had to specify because I work at a daycare so when I say kids like not my biological kids like my babies at work I'd taken them on a buggy ride which I do all the time you know get them outside in the fresh air and the next day from that my lower back and hips hurt so bad they were so sore and I've like I've never had that issue so that was weird and I just felt like complete crap and I was thinking okay this is obviously because I'm now almost six and a half weeks pregnant. And that's, of course, what everyone's saying at work. They're like, oh, well, it's probably, you know, from pregnancy. I had, no, oh, I also had no appetite. Like, I did not eat anything that day. I came home, and obviously I knew I needed to eat something. It's just not healthy not to eat anything at all. So I came home, and I decided to try and eat some cup ramen noodles. And I usually love those, like the lime shrimp ones I love. So I made me some. And, like, the smell was terrible. I tried eating them. It just did not taste right. So I gave up. And I was just like, I'm just going to drink some milk. You know, that's something maybe help can fill me up. And, you know, I had no issue eating that. I ate some Ritz crackers. I wasn't nauseous. I just didn't feel good. The next day when I woke up, I was perfectly fine. Uh, my lower back and hips were not hurting no more. I wasn't nauseous, I didn't wake up nauseous, I was able to drink my um, orange juice just fine, I was able to eat breakfast, like no issues. My stomach was still tender to the touch, but not nearly as bad. Everything else was just like a good way. And then it was like the day after that, everyone started at work starting to get a stomach bug, like a 24 hour stomach bug, and Hunter actually just got it two days ago, and his was like way worse than mine. So I'm thinking now it wasn't morning sickness or anything like that. I just had a stomach bug. And other than that, I've really not noticed anything, any differences in week six. Um, other than the same of I'm still peeing a lot and I am eating a lot more. And I have started cravings, but they're not like specific cravings I guess you could say or like weird cravings it's more of just if I see something I'm like oh I want that that like that type of craving like I was going through my co-workers cabinets looking for something um I think a blanket or something and I saw she had a box of cosmic brownies I don't like cosmic brownies like I don't not like well I don't not not like them, but I just, I'm not a huge fan of them. Like they're just way too chocolatey for me. I can only do so much chocolate. It's just too, like too rich. And I saw them and I was like, oh my God, that looks so good. And I texted Hunter cause I knew he was going to the store. And I was like, hey, can you, can you get me the cosmic brownies? And he got me some and I've eaten like three or four of them since then. That's not something I normally eat. Again, it's just too rich for me. Um, I've been having like a thing for eggs, for fried eggs. I don't like eggs. Well, again, I don't not not like eggs, but I have a weird thing with eggs. Like I can only eat small portions of them before it's just like, they look, they just seem very nasty to me. Um, I can eat like a small portion of scrambled eggs and 
fried sunny side up eggs are my like that's my favorite way to eat eggs like with a runny yolk and again I can only do it in moderation like a small bit every once in a while and that was actually now that I think about it that was one of the first things the first week I was pregnant I realized I was pregnant I wanted a fried egg and again I was like that's weird I don't I don't really like eggs and that has been an occurring thing for the past two weeks is wanting eggs but obviously with being pregnant you can't have anything raw so my yolk has to be fully cooked which makes me sad because I do like a runny yolk and so I have ate that a couple of times if I see something I want it like I thought of Popeyes the other day so I've been wanting Popeyes and then like me and Hunter were talking about going to Peking for the Chinese buffet, Chinese food buffet. And I was like, oh, that sounds really good. I see it. I'm like, that looks good. I, I want to eat that. And nothing weird yet. Hopefully I don't get anything weird. I haven't had mood swings start. I haven't had like any of the bad stuff start yet. So far it's been really easy other than that one day when I had the stomach bug. So I'm really hoping I'll have an easy pregnancy, but obviously it's, too early to tell since I'm only seven weeks now and who knows what this week is gonna hold. But I'm hoping it's gonna be an easy pregnancy. Um, we actually, we told our families last weekend. That we announced it on social media yesterday. I put up our little photo and I was trying to explain to him like how big of a deal pregnancy announcements are because, and he didn't realize it, like he really didn't. After we posted it, he was like, holy crap, there's so many people liking it. I've never had this many people like something of mine. And I was like, yeah, when you are pregnant, like getting pregnant and married and you post it, literally everyone you've ever known is gonna like and comment on it. Like people you went to school with that you haven't even talked to, people you didn't even talk to in school, your teachers, your old friend, like everyone comments on it and likes it. Like it's a big deal. I took my seven week, bump date, I guess you would call it yesterday, a photo of my bump. I'll put that right here, just, just so y'all can see that. And I'm gonna try and do that every week. <clears throat> I don't have a week five or six, nothing like it looked the same as my regular stomach. Even now it pretty much looks the same. My weight has been fluctuating. I am 5'8 and I'm 113 pounds. And that is what I stay at. Um, I don't fluctuate my weight really. But I have noticed, I weighed myself a couple days ago and it said 115, or no, it said 117. But then later on I weighed it and it was like 115. And then I think I weighed myself before I started this video, it was 114. So my weight is fluctuating based on like how full my stomach is, obviously. Like if I just ate a lot, I'm gonna weigh more. I am planning on weighing myself every week to see if I do gain anything, but yeah, so I guess I can show y'all my stomach, even though I just showed y'all this week seven picture. But I'm going to show y'all my stomach because I really don't think there's anything else to tell y'all. As you can see, there's like a slight bulge. Like I'm slightly bloated, but it's not really a lot. That's my update for week five and six, and this is my seven week bump date I guess and I'll let you know how I am next week at eight weeks. Bye y'all.